plowed down there, but they refuse to plow down here. Front in the line of fuel, folks.
to go ahead and fix these. Damn squirrels been sitting here. This is so frozen. It's so freaking old. It's so frozen. Well, I'll let that go so I don't uh, destroy it anymore. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I better leave that, otherwise, I'll just keep ripping. They're all starting to wear out, folks. I said that's what I I figure this is a uh, pretty heavy snow got a bunch of elderly people living down there I tried doing the other side but uh, what you guys saw it was just nothing but leaves and junk I just couldn't get it to uh, plow through I was pushing too hard on the uh, snow blower so it just wasn't, uh, it just wasn't worth it. Um, yeah. <coughs> My neighbor parks, uh, park their cars over here. We have this rule that, uh, every year they alternate. Uh, this is the odd number side of the street. The last number on your, uh, your address, which mine is number one. Uh, 29, you see right here, 2941. So that would make it an odd number side of the street. That side is the even number. Well, the even number, uh, <coughs> they had to park on this side of the street. So if the plows came down, then they would go ahead and plow that side of the street. And, yeah, well, then people on this side of the street were, well, pretty much screwed. You know, um, they'll probably come down tonight, uh, down the, uh, 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 down the street to plow. Downside is they wait till everything is refroze over and they go to plow and what happens? They don't push anything because the plows can't break up the ice. You know, the frozen snow and frozen water and all that. Like right now, it's all slush alongside here. <laughs> Not only that, but at night, there are more cars parked on the street than there are uh, right now. So if they were to go down the streets right now, they'd probably get about uh, 50 to maybe 70% of the snow, ice, and sludge plowed away from the street. But they don't do that. And it, to be honest with you, it kind of pisses me off because, you know, it's just one of those deals that... Uh, You know, why, why plow these neighborhood streets if, you know, if all you're going to do is come down here after it refreezes, you know, after all the cars are here. So even if you did, uh, even if it didn't freeze over, you still wouldn't be able to plow anything because the cars are in the way. So they're kind of fucking morons, but uh, it's what you get out of politicians, you know. They make the stupidest fucking rules and regulations. Um... But uh, you see what uh, all this is. <coughs> the uh, kid over here, um, last year I went ahead and did that driveway, but uh, that kid, um, he likes to do his own thing uh, over there, so I just left that driveway alone. Um, I didn't finish my neighbor's driveway um, uh, because I was actually getting close to running out of gas, so... Instead of having to push that big heavy snowblower all the way back here to get more gas, I figured, you know, I'd just let it go. Um, I'd say about uh, three quarters of their driveway is done, so. <coughs> so.
So now I'm going to fill up with gas. Uh, they say it's going to snow um, uh, pretty much most of the rest of the week. They also say that uh, it's going to be in the single digits for temperature for, uh, for the uh, next uh, uh, foreseeable future, so to speak. Um, so, yeah, we're going to have a fun, uh, fun time, folks. Winter has definitely arrived in Nebraska. But, thankfully, oh, Jesus, this thing's a beast. Thankfully, uh, we uh, usually get one to uh, maybe two snowfalls um, per, per winter season. And it usually gets down to about single digits about uh, uh, about a week, maybe a week and a half uh, each and every winter. So we've got a good chance that this is probably the last uh, major snowfall.